Hello again. Uh, today I've been reviewing electronics and what have you. And um, I decided to play with this little amplifier I plan on using for um, a simple FM radio transmitter. And this is what we have right here. Let me turn the light on again. Excuse me. Here it is. It is, uh, that's the Electret. Uh, Electret uh, uh, pickup microphone. And uh, it is a very, very simple circuit. And as you can see, it has very good pickup from good range. Right now I'm at about half volt per scale and it can go pretty high. Uh, um, the input is barely noticeable. Here are simply, I'm not going to go in it uh, too deeply, but basically on the DC side, uh, can't see it well, but uh, we, we determined the base voltage then that minus the 0.7 diode drop for the emitter current we got the uh, emitter voltage the collector voltage and VCE VCE on our low line is at 3.3 volts the current uh, question current is 400 and I think 49 microamps the HFE is assumed at about a hundred I have not uh, nailed it exactly on the data sheet the uh, HFE can vary from 125 to 900 but on rough measurements here earlier it was like around 100 um, also if uh, if you don't have a BC 548 I just uh, tested it with a 2N2222 on the bottom side is uh, another thing that interested me is it is the RC filters here we have an RC filter as well as here we have an RC filter uh, installing this capacitor actually increases the, the, the gain of this tremendously but this uh, breaking frequency FC as determined by 1 over 2 pi RC is set for 5 Hertz so anything below 5 Hertz uh, gets attenuated and everything above 5 Hertz passes on through as we shall see here this one is set for 5 kilohertz because 5 Hertz is very uh, slow to see on the on the excuse me on the scope. So we have uh, here the 10 nanofarads 2.7 K. You might want to try this simple little experiment to see. There's one thing theory. You know you can spend hours reading theory but the hardest part is digging through the old resistor box and picking four values out of a few hundred that are scattered in that box. So in theory you can know this but in actual practice you know you might want to want to see it too I'm going to move my scope I ordered some pros from eBay but I only got one so I got to move this one to the filter to the RC filter there's output excuse me and as you can see it's only a capacitor and a little resistor there and here is the the waveform the waveform now is is uh, is is low this is this high pass filter is going to pass the high and attenuate the low this is the dial I'll be turning to increase the frequency I don't know if you can see part of it as I increase it okay it's set for 5 kilohertz and uh, as I approach 5 kilohertz it will pass those frequencies as I come down like right now it is about oh two kilohertz and uh, we, we can uh, 
you can drop the voltage here since I'm away from the amplifier. So it's like about one volt per division. And this is like, you know, zero frequency. Now I'm increasing, it's about one volt per division. About five kilohertz, it really starts above, uh, you know, five kilohertz. It's passing all those frequencies, no problem. But below it, as I, as I come down to below five kilohertz, it will, it will dampen them, as you can see. So that's another fascinating little thing for just two little part. Imagine that two or three cheap little parts, a free library book, and a few uh, cheap parts from eBay or pull from some other equipment. Hope you have enjoyed the short video. And consider HFE. A lot of books say, you know, a lot of books give it to you like uh, nailed, but it can vary because as IP varies, the uh, collector emitter resistance will vary and that will allow current to go through. So, uh, HFE is a very interesting factor when you're designing. Some designs require that you know HFE. This design in particular does not because we get our, I, our, our, our uh, IE and IC currents based on the uh, value of the base voltage. So over and out, I hope uh, maybe you uh, can find out more about what HFE is and about simple filtering.